hey guys welcome to a new video this is Techy Phoenix and today we are going to build a budget PC under 30,000 INR so here's our motherboard it is the MSI B450 Pro VDS Max from MSI and this is the Ryzen 3 3200G APU it is called APU because it have the central processing unit and the graphical processing unit integrated into a single die so it have four cores four threads and Vega 8 graphics so it also comes with this rat stealth cooler included in the box to put the processor in we have to match this golden arrow on the processor with the arrow on the motherboard socket so as you can see right here then just lift this metal bar up and just drop the processor in don't put any pressure or force on top of the processor you can bend your pins so after that just lock the processor in the place that's it your processor is installed now the next step is that you have to install the CPU cooler for that you have to remove this plastic holders so this CPU cooler right here came with a pre-applied thermal paste but we are not using that as we have already used that for testing the whole setup. Now we are using this cheap thermal paste which will be ok and now let's install this CPU cooler. For that you have to align the screw holes with the screws and then screw down the opposite ends for a even spread of the thermal paste so our CPU cooler is installed now we can plug the CPU fan to the fan header on the motherboard so for the RAM we are going with the HyperX Fury DDR4 2666 MHz RAM it is XMP profile and you can easily overclock it. When you are installing the RAM in the DIMM slot, make sure that you check the motherboard manual once. To make sure it works in dual channel, you have to install the RAM in alternative slots or else it will not work in dual channel now we can install the motherboard inside the cabinet for that you have to install this IO shield first the cabinet already came with the standoffs pre-installed and it just made things easy now we can just put the screws and install the motherboard in the place and talking about the cabinet this cabinet is the best for the price it comes for about 2000 INR and it have the PSU shroud with some air filters and a slight RGB strip on the front so overall it's nice but its build quality is little poor it supports about 7 fans in total and comes with one fan pre-installed so our fan is now installed Now let's connect the fan to the fan header on the motherboard right here now let's install this power supply this is gigabyte P450B 
80 plus brown certified and the PSU will go right there I will face the PSU upside down so that the fan is downwards and it can take some fresh air from that vent As you can see here, these are the cables from power supply and here is the cables from front I.O. So let's put all these cables to the front side. This is the 24 pin connector. It will go here and here is the 8 pin connector this will go here and here is the molex connector for the pre-installed fan and this one right here for the front RGB So from the front side it looks like this. Let's install this front I.O. first. You have to first check on your particular motherboard manual. Each motherboard have different headers and don't connect it into the wrong headers. Your computer will not start. This is a big headache. So just do it carefully. Next we can go ahead and install this 24 pin connector. Just put equal force on each side. You will hear a click sound and your 24 pin is installed. Same for the 8 pin connector also. And this is the front USB 3.0 connector. It will go right here. And this two are for the front SD audio and USB 2.0 connectors. Check the motherboard closely. It is written below the header which cable goes where. Now let's go ahead and install the drives. For that you have to remove this drive bay. You can install two 2.5 inch drives and one 3.5 inch drive. We are installing this 320 GB hard disk which was taken from an old laptop as we are building a budget system. And here is the SSD that we will use for primary storage for windows and all. This is the crucial BX500 2.5 inch SSD. I will suggest going with the MX500 as it have the DRAM and is also fast compared to this but this is a very cheap option. This SSD comes with 240 GB of storage and this hard disk is having 320 GB in total making about 560 GB of storage which is very poor in this time. But we can upgrade it in the future with 1TB or 2TB of hard disk. So now we can just install the drive bay back into the place and just screw this thumb screw. That's it our drives are installed. And now it is the time for some cable management.
After doing all the cable management, the extra cables from the power supply can go right into the drive bay. For now, as we are not using that bay. On the front side, now we can connect the SATA cables from the drives, the SSD and the SSD. These cables will go into the SATA port on the motherboard. Now our PC build is almost completed. Motherboard side cable management is not that impressive. Now the last thing to do is to put this side tempered glass and just screw it in place with the included thumb screws. And that's it, our PC build is now completed. And guys, we had a post. Every components in the system was recognized in the BIOS and everything was working well. The MSI BIOS is very user friendly and you can change the settings if you want. This is a overall cost analysis on this PC build. So as you can see right here, the cost of every hardware used in the system just comes under 30,000 rupees so anyone can build this PC who is in a tight budget so for the price this system offers some great performance you can also have some slight gaming with it because the processor inside this have the Vega 8 integrated graphics so that is good for some 1080p 30fps or 720p 60fps gaming but not the latest titles all titles that's it guys thank you for watching if you have any suggestions then comment it down below subscribe my channel for more videos like this and if you like this video give a thumbs up thank you for watching this is techy phoenix signing off